In this video, I'm going to be going from noob to max level without spending any Robux on a brand new account. We're going to start out by redeeming two times XP. All right, let's get started. I think the first goal is going to be to get to level 50 so that I can roll a fruit and grinding will be a lot easier with a blocks fruit. So one more bandit. Yes. Okay. We did our first quest. To get to the jungle, which is the next area we're going to unlock, we need to be level 10. So I think that means just one more quest. I'm a bit more powerful than I thought, apparently. I should just end the video now. I don't even think a max level could do that. Alright, we're now level 10. I'm gonna go to the jungle now. Another thing we could do is... Why am I... Where? No clue where I'm going. We could get the rocket fruit, which is actually a really good grinding fruit, despite it being one of the first ones. And I could use that until I get, like, a really good fruit. Hop in our dinghy. Talk to the adventurer. He'll give us the monkey quest. And now we have to kill six monkeys. These guys are kind of annoying because, like, they're spread out. One more kill and we're finished with our quest. I think this should unlock us the gorillas. Hopefully. No, not at all. I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure why I thought that. One more quest. One more quest. One more quest. Then we'll unlock the gorillas. One more kill and we'll be level 20. That means we can fight the gorillas who are even more annoying to kill than the monkeys. Not because they're like spread out, but because they just do so much damage. Wait, was the level requirement 15? Oh, never mind. I could have killed the gorillas. And the gorilla king is here, so I will kill the gorilla king after I kill the gorillas. I need more stats and defense and melee though, because I'm, I'm not doing enough damage. There we go. Now I'm kind of shredding through them. Okay, we finished our gorilla quest. I'm now going to go get the quest for the gorilla king. Also, by the way, if you're enjoying the video, if you could like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated, because it helps me out a lot. Anyway, let's see if we can take down the Gorilla King. I've also decided that I'm not going to get Rocket, and I'm just going to save up for a fruit. Okay, let's see. I'm kind of destroying this guy. Oh no! Come on. Okay, wait, I need to, like, lock in. Wait, I'm destroying him. Oh! I jinxed it. What? My quick tackle wasn't working. The strategy is you hit him, and then immediately dash away. And then... When he's about to do his move, you just back up. Uh-oh. I'm on 10 HP. Come on. Yes, okay. Let's go. We're level 30. We can now go to the pirate village. We're only 20 levels away from level 50 as well, where we can get our first fruit. Alright, let's get our first pirate quest. I'm gonna have to use the same strategy I used on the Gorilla King, because these guys do a lot of damage. And if they start, like, comboing me, because there's so many of them, then I'm just gonna die. Two down. Three down. Wait, we unlocked the other move on combat, too. That's gonna make this easier. And four down. Okay. Four more to go, and then we'll be done with this quest. We can also get the chests here, because they give so much money. Like, 2,000? 1,000? Yeah. Very good. I wonder what our first fruit is gonna be. Imagine we roll kit soon. Let's go. Okay. We leveled up a lot from that. Level 38. Never mind, level 39. We're actually getting so close to level 50. Level 42. Level 45. I just realized I was supposed to be fighting the brutes. Level 48. Level 50. Okay, let's go to the jungle and roll a blocks fruit. Okay, come on. I really hope it's something good. Please. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why? Okay, it's not the end of the world. This fruit is still pretty good. Okay, I guess now we're just going to level up because there's not really much we can do right now. We have unlocked the next quest. We can now go to the desert island. I have 161 stats and blocks fruits now, and I do so much damage. Like, Watch this damage. 720. And then 864. I basically four shot these guys, which is crazy. Okay, we can finally roll another fruit. So hopefully we can get rid of Rocket unless we roll Rocket again. That would suck. Come on. I don't want spring. Never mind, we're not getting rid of Rocket. But what we can do is unlock new abilities. Let's go in the cave over here. And we're going to learn the abilities from the ability teacher. So we can get air jump and aura this will make it so much easier to get places now that we can jump in the air we're actually about to get rocket crash so that's nice it's kind of sad that we're still using rocket at this point though like i feel like we should have a better fruit i just realized that i forgot to redeem more two times xp let's go we unlocked rocket crash honestly i have no clue what rocket crash does so let's wait for the snow bandits to respawn and we can test it on them okay let's see that's a really good move it doesn't even do knockback to them it just hits them up Kind of reminds me of Jet Dive from the Strongest Battlegrounds. We just unlocked the Snowman quest so we can now kill the Snowmans up here instead of the... The Snowmans? Wait. Snowmans? Wouldn't it be Snowmen? Let's go. We can kill the Yeti now. 
the Yeti is about to lose to someone with like the least expensive fruit in the game. Bosses that can only melee you are so weak. Like you just stay back and then hit them with ranged moves. Let's go. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I have exactly $70,000. Let's go. I just unlocked the next island. But before I actually go there, I have an idea on how to get a better fruit. See, up until now, I've been playing in this private server, but I can join a public server and then ask someone for a fruit and maybe some nice person will give me one. That way I don't have to use rocket. My tip for asking people for fruits is not to beg, just ask nicely. Okay, we got someone. Okay, he has arrived. Why? Okay, I'm gonna leave it at pirate starter for some new player. Haha, uh, I stole it from this beggar. Fruit, please. I asked nicely. That's mine now. Okay, I tried that for about an hour and it did not go anywhere. Um, I just didn't get anything. I got a couple of fruits. I got a spike fruit and a bomb fruit. So that's not very good. But I can roll again now because it's been two hours. So let's see what I get. Ice, yes. That's actually a really good fruit. Okay, so ice will be my grinding fruit for now until I, I don't even know, until I get like light or Buddha. I don't know. Ice is just really good. Part of the reason why ice is so good is because you get a trident that you can swing. So it's like a sword. Okay, it's time to grind at the marine fortress. I forgot what it was called. I keep forgetting to use codes. All right, we can finally go to the Skylands now. But before I go to the Skylands, I'm going to quickly buy the coat. I think it's in this one, but it might be in this one. I'm checking this one first. Yeah, it is this one. I'm stupid. Okay, let's go. We got the cape. This cape is really useful. It's like one of the best accessories in the first sea. To the Skylands. And also, because we're rich, we're absolutely so rich, we're going to get a brigade so that... We can go faster. All right, it's time to kill the sky bandits. And also, um, a little hack to make it easier for getting up, because if you don't have a fruit that has flight, you have to walk all the way up here. Um, just set your home point, and then when you're done, you just click home, and then you teleport back up. Let's go. We just got a hundred mastery on ice, and we unlocked glacial gla glacial epoch. Epoch. I'm just gonna say it like that. Hopefully, I didn't say it completely wrong. But yeah, this move is crazy. Okay, I went over to Frozen Village so I can pick up Flash Step because uh, I have 134,000, so I might as well get it. Okay, I guess um, I'm just going to continue the grind. Let's go. We just unlocked the prison. The prison is just pure suffering. It's so annoying to grind there. So the grind continues. The grind continues. All right, I'm going to see if I can roll a fruit at the jungle because I don't actually know how long it's been, but it might have been two hours. So let's check. Okay, let's see. Can I roll a fruit? Oh, I need to wait 10 minutes. Okay, we can finally roll another fruit. Let's see what we get. Magma! Yes, that's really good. Okay, I might eat that later, but for now, I'm gonna stick with ice. Okay, it is a new day. I low-key don't remember what I was doing yesterday. But, because it's a new day, it's been two hours, so I can roll a fruit. I don't I don't really know what I'm hoping for at this point, because, like, I have magma and ice, but, like, it might as well, because to get to third C, you do need a fruit that's valued over a million dollars. No shot! Oh my god! I just rolled Buddha! Oh my god! This is not fake. Look. Oh my gosh, the luck. I am so lucky. Oh my lord. I just got a Buddha fruit. <laughs> my luck. I'm gonna keep grinding with ice for a bit because it's really fun, but I'll switch to Buddha at some point once I start getting bored of ice. Actually, it might be more worth it to just eat Buddha now. I, I can't decide whether I want to eat it now or just like save ice. I think I might just eat it now because it's Buddha after all. And then I can use a stat reset code to get my stats back. I think it's a, I think it's a good idea. So I'm going to eat the Buddha fruit. I, ca I still can't believe I just rolled this. Okay. Eat. Let's go. Let's redeem the stat reset code. And then we will reset our stats. And I'm going to put 200 of it into defense. And 436 into melee. Look at those stats. I do no damage though. I probably should have put more into combat, but uh, oh well. All right, we can now fight the bosses. Now this shouldn't be too hard considering I do have Buddha fruit. I can kind of just like it's walk around him and he won't be able to hit me. Yeah, I don't think he has a chance. He hasn't hit me once. I do such low damage though. Oh well, doesn't matter. He's dead now. Also, let me know in the comment section what noob to pros I should do next. Should I do it with Kitsune? Should I do it with the new reworked dragon fruit that's coming out soon? That would cost me money though, so you guys have to subscribe for that. Let's go, the warden's already back. I didn't realize that he respawned so fast. It's very goofy how you don't get like custom jumps with Voodum. Voodum? What did I just say with Buddha V1? Like, you just do a little like goofy like giant front flip. 
one level to go and then I can fight the Chief Warden. I think I'm going to use another 2 times XP code because this is just painful. There we go. I just want to get out of the prison. I will be limited on 2 times XP, which sucks as well because I can't buy it with Robux. So I'll have to just use the codes and then I won't have any. Alright, we can now fight the Chief Warden. It shouldn't be too hard. And he's going to give me like 4 levels as well because I'm using 2 times XP. Yeah, the bosses can't touch me. You just dash in a circle around them and they just can't hit you. Let's go. Okay, we leveled up like four times from that, so that's very good. And that means more stats into melee. What level do you have to be to fight Swan? Is it 240? Yeah, it is. Okay. So it shouldn't even take me too long. It'll take me like two quests to be able to fight Swan. Let's go. Okay, we can now fight Swan. And the Warden's back too. Okay, I'm taking on the Warden first. He's getting absolutely destroyed as usual. And the Warden's dead. Okay, now it's time to fight Swan. Now this guy, he won't just let you run in a circle and hit him because... He actually has moves, so, you know, I, I, I think I'll be fine because I have a thousand health and he can't aim, so do have to be a bit careful. Okay, never mind, he can't aim, so you can't damage someone if you can't hit them with a move. And he's dead. That was surprisingly easy. Let's go level 250 and we can leave the prison. Thank goodness, I hate this place. Alright, we're at the Coliseum. This place is kind of annoying too because the guys spawn like really weirdly, but it shouldn't take me as long as Prison did, and it definitely shouldn't be as boring and painful. Wait, I just realized we're level 250. We can do the Saber quest. Okay, I'll do the Saber quest after my 2 times XP runs out because I don't want to waste it. Okay, I got a few levels with that 2 times XP. That's why you don't want to waste 2 times XP. Alright, it's time to do the Saber quest. Okay, so the first part of the saber puzzle is you have to find buttons hidden around the map. Now, I actually don't have them memorized. Um, I, I apparently already got that one. I think there's one here. Yeah, okay, maybe I do have them memorized, but I didn't- I don't remember having them memorized. I know there's one on a tree. I think it's over here. Yeah, here it is. And then I think there's two on Gorilla Island. I don't know where the first one is. There might only be one, actually, but I know there's one, um, here. Is that all of them? Let me go check. No, that's not. I'm missing one. Okay. I don't remember. I have to look on the wiki. Oh, okay. It was on Grill Island. I knew there was two. There it is. Okay. That's all of them. Now, we get the torch. Then you need to go over to the desert. And then find the house with the red door that's like kind of like crumbling down. And then you go down here and set it afire with your torch. Then you get the cup. And now you're going to need to go to the frozen village. Then you go into the cave, find where it's dripping water and pick up the water. Then you bring it up to the sick man and give him water and then he'll tell you to meet up with the rich man who's in the pirate village. Now, once you're here, you're gonna wanna talk to the rich man. He's gonna say, thanks for helping my father, but a mob leader stole all my money, blah, blah, blah. Then you go over to this mob leader island and then you have to fight this dude. Uh, he's insanely easy, so you should be fine. And now you talk to the rich man. I don't know why I turned this into a tutorial, by the way, I'm not sure. And then you talk to the rich man again, and he'll give you a relic. And then all you need to do is take that relic to the jungle. Go to right under where the gotcha is, and you'll see the spot for it. And you just put it in, and the saber expert's not here. I'm just going to quickly server hop until we find a server with him in it. That was fast. Okay, now we just need to kill him. Um, This also shouldn't be too difficult, considering Buddha Fruit is very OP. He does do a lot of damage, though. So yeah, we have to be a bit careful, but we shouldn't have to be like too careful. You just have to dodge his moves and that's like it. Wait, actually I'm gonna die. Yes, some random dude is here. He's helping, okay. And just like that, we have the saber. Now that's important because you actually need to do- Hold on. <laughs> this man is trying to beat me up. Okay, anyway, that's important because you need to do that quest in order to get instinct. Okay, we're gonna go back on the grind now. Let's go, we unlocked the underwater sit. Excuse me, we unlocked the magma village. Okay, now that we have $750,000, I'm gonna go over to the underwater city and I'm gonna go buy water kung fu because that will be a big upgrade from combat. Okay, here it is. We'll just use impact to break it. Wait, can I not break it? How does that not break the wall? Okay, apparently you're supposed to flash step through it and I'm just stupid. Um, let's get water kung fu. Yeah, let's see how much damage we do a click now. Because we used to do 290 or like 300. Yeah, we do like double our damage. Okay, that's going to be so helpful. Look at that. We shred through them. They just get melted. Okay, back to grinding. Let's go. We just unlocked the quest for the boss.
After I kill the boss, I'm gonna server hop, and I'm just gonna keep server hopping and killing the boss, cause uh, he's not he's not too difficult as you can see if you have Buddha fruit. So like he just kind of gets destroyed, um, and then he gives you a ton of XP for it, like almost three levels. I just got refined musket. Let's go to the underwater city. I did not like this place at all. Maybe a little bit after I got water kung fu, cause I just started destroying everything. It's almost as if you're not supposed to have Buddha with water kung fu this early. All right, back to my vo my voice. Back to grinding, and then after this, we'll be at Upper Skylands, and then we can get Observation Hockey. It was at this point where I forgot to plug in my microphone after installing a new hard drive into my PC, so there's no audio of me speaking. Here's a brief summary of what happened. I unlocked the quest for the Fishman Lord, server hopped and killed him, got the Trident, went to Upper Sky, bought Instinct for seven hundred fifty thousand dollars found a bomb fruit that disappeared for some reason, unlocked the quest for the thunder god, got pull v1, made it to fountain city, and hit level 700. I'm gonna murder someone. My microphone wasn't on. For the past three hours, to the prison we go. All right, military detective, blah blah blah. Okay, what the heck is happening to my boat? I don't think it's supposed to be doing that. Let me get a new one. And we use the key to get into this room where we have to fight the ice admiral. Yeah, he's not very strong as you can see. Okay. Yep. Okay. To Middletown and then we can enter Second C. Take me to Second C. Yes. We have arrived in Second C. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video as it would be greatly appreciated and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next parts of this. See ya. Okay, welcome back to Noob to Pro with Zero Robux. Last episode, I got to Second C. If you haven't seen last episode, click here. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is awaken my Buddha fruit because that will make grinding way easier. Also, I have a lot of money, so I'm going to roll the fruit because I can. First fruit in second C. Let's see what we get. <laughs> okay, of course, of course, it's Falcon. Okay, let's go awaken Buddha fruit. My friend's going to carry me in this raid because I can't do it as a level 701. Okay, and now I'll just wait up here until the raid's over. Oh my lord. Okay, maybe that's not such a good idea. I need to just... <laughs> I just need to go away. I need to leave. Okay, now I can go on the first island. It is safe now. All right, and the raid is over. Awaken my Buddha fruit, ascension, awaken my Z ability, and we now have awakened Buddha. Okay, so I guess we'll just level up now because we have awakened Buddha uh, and we have a pretty decent fighting style. Okay, my friend got a fist of darkness playing in this public server. So we're gonna summon Darkbeard and uh, kill him. Let's go. Okay, we got a dark fragment and some fragments and um i think we got like a level two so that's nice let's go we can kill the swan pirates now this will make it so much faster okay it's been another two hours i'm starting to get a bit concerned with rolling a fruit that's valued over a million dollars we need to do that before we're level 1500 or else we will be stuck in the second c it has been two hours so i can roll a fruit hopefully i get something valued over a million and then i don't have to worry about that okay well that's not valued over a million might as well get the title though if you didn't know, there's actually a title for dropping a block fruit in the ocean. So there we go. New title unlocked, the Kraken. I'm getting closer and closer to level 850, so that's nice. The grind is grindy though, I must say. All right, we can now get race v2. So the first thing I need to do is go over to the cafe and talk to this guy named Bartilo. He's going to say the swan pirates are invading and blah, blah, blah. So you get the quest and I have to go kill more swan pirates, 50 to be exact. All right, we have finished the quest, and now we just have to defeat Jeremy. And this won't be difficult at all because we have Buddha fruit. All we have to do is dash around him and hit him, and he's dead. So now we have to free the imprisoned gladiators who are jailed beneath the stadium. So we'll go to the Colosseum, and here you have to enter a code. I don't have it memorized, so I'm going to look on the wiki. This one, 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 and this one. Let's go. We unlocked the warrior helmet. I'm gonna go over to the nerd and see if it is better than the cape I have right now. 5% more damage on any attack, 100 energy and 100 health. Okay, uh, and this one. Oh wow, okay, so it's just really good for melee. Okay, I'm actually gonna keep that because I don't really need the 100 health and energy. That's just gonna make me do way more damage. So now that I've done the Colosseum quest, I'm gonna go over to the alchemist and do the race v2 quest. Also, if you're enjoying the video, consider subscribing because it would help me out a lot. Also, I just made a Roblox group with some merch that I worked really hard on. It's not very good since I suck at making Roblox clothing, but if you're interested, the link is in the description and in the pinned comment.
Okay, I finally found the alchemist. Yep. Okay, so now I have to find the three flowers. This is going to be pretty annoying. <laughs> there are certain spots that the flowers can spawn, and there's three flowers. The red one, which spawns during the day, the blue one, which spawns during the night, and the yellow one that you get from killing NPCs. So the first one that I'm going to try and get is going to be the red one. Oh yeah, forgot to mention that if you get all three flowers and you just die on your way over to some like random doe bounty hunter, then you lose them and you have to get them all over again. So we have to be careful because we're playing in a public server because uh, my friend's private server ran out and he doesn't have enough Robux to get more, which I am not considering cheating because I didn't spend Robux and you can find a free private server somewhere. Okay, firstly, let's check this spot right here. It can be here sometimes and it looks like it isn't. Another spot where it can be is here. I think it's next to the bushes, but it isn't here either. And then another spot it can be is here. It might be here. It might also be here, but I'm pretty sure it's here. Okay, it's not here. Let me check over here. Okay, yeah, I see it. There it is. All right, nice. We got the red flower. While I'm waiting for it to become night so that the blue flower can spawn, I'm just going to kill swan pirates so that I can try and get the yellow flower. All right, we got the yellow flower. So now we just have to wait for it to become nighttime, which unfortunately does not look like it will be anytime soon, so I'll be waiting here for a while. No! No! Why? No! Oh my god. Why? And that's exactly why doing this in a public server is annoying. Okay, well, time to do this all over again. Okay, we found the red flower. Okay, we got the yellow flower. No. No! Why? Oh, okay, thank goodness. They're going for that other person. Yes, okay, we found the blue flower. Now I just need to not get killed by a bounty hunter. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, good. Okay, yes, we have race v2 now. To get race v3, we need to be level 1000. And we also need a fruit valued over a million dollars, which we still do not have yet. So that is a slight problem. Okay, it's the next day. So we still don't have a fruit valued over a million. So I'm gonna roll a fruit, please. Oh, come on. I don't know what we're gonna do. We really need a fruit valued over a million, but I just don't have one. Okay, well, I guess I'll kill swan pirates until I can go to green zone, and then I'll kill green zone, and then I'll just keep grinding. And hopefully I have a fruit valued over a million. Let's go. We can go to the green land. The green land? I mean the green zone. One more kill, and I will be level 900. That means I can now fight the marine captains. Okay, it has been two hours since I've last rolled a fruit. Let's roll a fruit. Hopefully we get something over a million, please. Oh, <clears throat> this is getting pretty bad. We really need it. Let's go. We can now kill Fajita. Okay, I think I'm going to server hop and just keep killing Fajita so I can, yeah. Oh my gosh, I just got gravity cane. That's like one of my favorite swords. Oh my gosh, there's a sea beast literally right here. Wait, I'm going to try and kill it. Oh, I got one shot. Let's go, I've maxed out my melee stat. Now I can start putting stats into defense so I won't die as fast. Okay, it is a new day. We still have not rolled a fruit that is over a million. So I'm gonna go see if I can roll a fruit. I say that like I don't know. It's a whole new day, so I think I can roll. Okay, let's see. Please. Come on. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna go... I guess I'm just gonna go back to grinding and like server hopping for Meteor Lord. Me <laughs> I need to not record this at like 8 in the morning because, bro, Meteor Lord? How on earth did I call Fajita Meteor Lord? Oh, he's not here. Okay, I'm gonna server hop now. Let's go! We can go to the graveyard now! Okay, this is getting a little bit tedious, so I think I'm gonna use a 2 times XP code to speed up the process a little bit. Let's go! Level 1000! We can go to the snow mountain now. Let's go! I just unlocked the quest for the Winter Warriors. They're more inconvenient to grind though, and they only give an extra million XP, so I'm just gonna stay here. Okay, I think it's been two hours again, um, so another attempt at rolling a fruit. If we do get a 1 million fruit this time, we can get race v3, so that's nice. Oh my gosh, wait, I just realized I'm 408 mastery on water kung fu. That means that I can get sharkman karate if I get the water key. Okay, after I roll here, I'm gonna go to the forgotten island and server hop for the tide keeper so I can get sharkman karate, because that'll help me grind a lot. Okay, uh, roll a fruit, please. Yes! Let's go! Okay, we got a fruit over 1 million. Let's go! We can get race v3! Another thing that I want to say is, thank you guys so much for all the support on the last video. As of me recording this video right now, I'm at 700 subscribers, which is just crazy. I just did not think that I'd hit 700 subscribers from one video. I'm just really grateful for all of the growth that I've gotten from that video. Okay, to the Forgotten Castle. For, I mean, the... Gosh darn it, the Forgotten Island. 
What the heck is the Forgotten Castle? And he's dead. Okay. We got absolutely nothing. Time to server hop. Let's go. I just got the water key. Okay. I'm now going to give it to Diagrock, or I, I hope that's how you say his name. I don't know. I suck at pronouncing things. Okay, never mind. It's Diagrock. Forgive me. Anyway, learn Sharkman Karate. Yeah, wait, I don't have fragments. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> okay, I need to go get fragments. Okay, my friend joined the server, and they're gonna carry some raids for me. I only need to do three raids, and then I can get Sharkman Karate. For some reason, in this ice raid, there's just a wall here that makes it go from, like, normal to blue. I have an idea. I kind of want to switch my race because human's a little bit boring, so I might do even more raids so I can switch my race to shark. Because I do want to get race v3, but human race v3 isn't very good, so I think I'm gonna switch to shark race. So, I'll check back in with you once we've done a few raids. Okay, we did a few raids, so I have enough fragments to get Sharkman Karate now, so we'll quickly buy that. This will cost all of my money, so that's kind of sad. Oh, wait, never mind, I thought it was 5 million. Okay, it's only 2.5 million, so uh, yeah, we'll get Sharkman Karate. Let's go! Okay, that's gonna be so helpful. And I'm also gonna reroll my race to see if I can get Shark, hopefully I can. I only have like one attempt, I think. Hopefully I get it. Okay, come on, Tor. I, I want Shark, just so you know. Please? Yeah! Tor is amazing. Okay, uh, we have shark first try. We actually have to get race v2 again because we got race v2 for human. Actually, I'm gonna do that later because I won't have enough money for race v2 and v3 combined right now. So I'm just gonna go grind a bit. Let's go. I can finally leave this place and go to hot and cold. Okay, I think it's time that we get race v3. But in order to get race v3, we need to get race v2 first since we're on shark now. So let me go get the quest from the alchemist. Okay, it looks like it's becoming nighttime. So I'm gonna get the blue flower first. Let's go, we found the blue flower first try, okay. Some people say that the red flower doesn't despawn during the night, so I might still be able to find it during the night. Okay, I can't find the red flower anywhere, so I'm just gonna get the yellow flower. I actually need 50,000 more dollars to get race v2 and race v3, so I'm gonna go back to the snow mountain and just grind a little bit. Hopefully I get the yellow flower and then it will become daytime and then I can get the red flower. Oh wait, never mind. I'm supposed to be at the hot and cold. Whoops. Okay, it's daytime now and I still have not gotten the yellow flower and I've been killing a lot of these guys so i guess i'm just getting really unlucky it's not anywhere where it usually is i know there's two spots here it can be i think it can be here yes there it is okay i guess i'm killing these dudes until i get the yellow flower why is my luck so bad right now i'm switching to the swan pirates maybe i'll have better luck let's go i did have better luck with the swan pirates craft the potion for 500,000. yes shark v2 is actually useful as well because now i won't die in the water okay next we're gonna get race v3 so to access swan, which we need in order to do this, we have to give Trevor a fruit worth over a million, which is why we need a fruit over a million. Let's go. Okay, we can now speak to swan. Hopefully swan's here. Oh, he isn't. Okay. We might have to server hop until we find a server that has swan. That was fast. Okay. So this guy has a second phase, uh, but he shouldn't be easy. He shouldn't be easy. He should be easy. He shouldn't be hard because uh, we have Awakened Buddha and Sharkman Karate at level 1000. Yeah. So now I have to go in the hill where Diamond is. There's a little entrance right here. And you talk to Arrow and yeah, blah, 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 blah. So because I'm a shark, I have to defeat a sea beast for my race V3. So I need to just basically find a sea beast and kill it. Yes, we finally got a sea beast. Okay, now we just have to kill it before it kills us. Is someone else here? Yes, there's a light user and a doe user. Yes, I'm saved. Let's go. Okay. Okay, talk to Arrow. Yes. Let's go. We have race v3. There's not really much else to do in second C at this point, so I think I'm just going to grind and try and hit third C. Let's go. I can go to the cursed ship finally. You know what? I'm I'm in a good mood. Let's roll a fruit because just because we can, we're going to roll a fruit. Okay, we rolled diamond. That's not great, but you know, it's something we didn't already have, so okay, back to grinding. Finally, we can move on to a different quest. I've been doing the like ship deck dudes or whatever the names are for like the past like i don't know how long please like the video guys this takes so long let's go we can finally leave the haunted ship we can now go to the ice castle i forgot to say this but it's a new day now so i'm gonna go roll a fruit and hopefully i get something good and if not you know that's okay because i may have used up all of my luck getting buddha in first c but but I don't know, actually. I don't really know. I'm, I'm not I, I'm not going to be too sad if I don't get something good. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, to the ice castle. This place is actually pretty fun to grind at. And then after the ice castle, I'll be at the final island. And then I can go to third sea. Let's go. I just unlocked the quest for the snow lurkers. 
one more kill and i can finally leave the ice castle to the forgotten island i'm so close to level 1500 let's go i'm level 1450 i can now fight the water fighters one last two times xp code the breaching factory in 30 seconds i need to get there fast i really hope that i can actually like get something i don't know i i have like half of the damage i think i should be good yes i got it quake that's actually a really good fruit let's go okay back to grinding i'm so close three more quests to go two more quests to go one more quest left to go let's go level 1500 now we have to go to the Colosseum and talk to King Redhead. I don't know why I was going towards the factory. <laughs> okay, we need to fight Rip Indra for him. And uh, yeah, this should be no problem because we're a Buddha with Sharkman Karate. We just shred through Indra. And now there's this cutscene with music that I'm pretty sure is copyrighted, so I have to cut this out. Yeah, King Redhead lost. Uh, what? Where, where's my hand? Why is my hand there? You know what? We're just going to ignore the fact that my hand is just all the way over there for some reason and now we talk to the captain take me to third c yes finally thank you so much for watching please like the video because this took so long and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the final part see ya okay welcome back to noob to pro with no robux last episode i made it to third c and in this video i'm going to be hitting max level among other things like for example i want to get race v4 but in order to do that you need to kill the doe king which requires a god's chalice, and 500 NPCs killed at Cakeland. It's it's very complicated, and it's definitely something that us as a level 1500 cannot do right now. So, I think I'm gonna start out by just leveling up, and eventually I might try and get a chalice, I don't know. For now, I'll just level up. Something that kind of sucks about leveling up though, is that I already used all of the 2 times XP codes, or most of them, I have a few left. So, I'm just not gonna have 2 times XP for the entirety of 3rd C, and to get to max level, I need 1050 levels, which is a lot, especially without 2 times XP. You also might notice that I'm getting 1.1 times XP and money, and the reason for that is I bought Roblox Premium so that I could make a group and make merch, because you need Robux to do that. So that's why I'm getting 1.1 times XP. Let's go, we can finally fight Stone. Okay, I think I'm gonna server hop and just keep killing him. Cause he also has a chance to drop the pilot helmet, which is an accessory that makes you really fast. He stands no chance. Buddha fruit is so OP. Let's go, I can finally go to Hydra Island. But first I'm gonna go to Turtle Mansion and roll a fruit. Maybe I'll get something good, you never know. Okay, let's see what we get. Rubber, okay, back to grinding. Let's go, we can finally fight the Dragon Crew archers. Those other guys are so annoying because they're so spread out and they like randomly like start like ice skating across. All right, finally, I can go to the quest giver up here instead of doing these. Let's go, I can finally kill the Island Empress. Hopefully I get Serpent Bow, that's a pretty cool gun. The Island Empress is actually like pretty difficult to kill from what I remember because she does so much damage. Um, Luckily I have instinct and hopefully I just won't get hit and okay i did get hit but uh i think we'll be okay i'm just gonna keep dashing from side to side and yeah okay i'm just regenerating too fast for her to actually do damage to me okay i'm gonna server hop and kill the island empress now let's go i got serpent bow let's go i can finally go to the great tree some of the npcs at the great tree are really annoying but at least it's not killing the npcs at hydra island I'm also going to finally max out my defense stat, so that means I can start putting stats into blocks root. But uh, yeah, look at how much health and energy I have now. I'm getting a little bored of just grinding, so I'm going to go to the castle on the sea and kill the elite pirate. Because if we get a god's chalice, then I can kill Indra and unlock the portals, which is really important for fast travel and stuff. Okay, the elite hunter said that DeAndre was at floating turtle, which is kind of annoying. That's like the hardest one to find. But while I'm at floating turtle, I'm also going to roll a fruit because I might get something good. And I have way too much money. Okay, let's roll the fruit. Come on, let's see what we get. Chop. Okay. Okay, I finally found DeAndre. Let's kill him. He shouldn't be too difficult, since we do have Buddha fruit. Is he even gonna use a move? Oh my gosh, he just completely missed. Okay, unfortunately, we didn't get a God's Chalice, so we'll have to wait another 15 minutes and do it again. Okay, a new elite pirate has spawned in, and he's also at Floating Turtle. I just spent like 20 minutes looking for him and I couldn't find him, but I finally did find him. So hopefully we get the chalice. I would be very happy. Dang, no chalice. Okay, there's another elite pirate. Again, he's at floating turtle. 
Okay, I found him. Dang, no chalice. The good thing about killing the elite pirate is that once you kill like 30 of them, you can get Yama, which is a really good sword. Pirates have been spotted approaching the castle. I might get a really good fruit from this. Or I might get rocket. Ice fruit. Okay. It's always that floating turtle, I swear. Finally, I found him. That took way too long. Okay. He's in the one spot that, like, I never check because he's never up here. No chalice. But we did get a hunter cape, which is actually a better accessory than what I have right now. Again, he's that floating turtle. Okay. Okay, I found him. No chalice. Come on. I just want a god's chalice, please. It's literally always floating turtle. He's up here again. I literally never see him up here, but he's been up here like twice in a row now. Dang, no chalice. It's always floating turtle. Oh my gosh. Okay, I found him. Hopefully we get the chalice this time. Dang it. Finally, he's at Hydra Island. Okay. Okay, I actually found him pretty fast. Yes, we got a chalice. Okay. I don't have the aura colors in order to spawn Indra, so I am getting people to join my server so that they can do the colors. Okay, we did all of the colors. I'm now going to summon Indra. I said... I said I'm gonna- Oh, okay, now I'm summoning Indra. There we go. We have a leopard and two Buddhas, so we should win pretty easily. Let's go- Okay, I didn't actually get the dark dagger, but it's fine because now we can use the portals. This will make it so much faster to like go to different areas. Okay, I'm gonna kill Diablo because you never know when he's gonna give you a chalice. And if we get another chalice, we might be able to do Doking which would be really good. He's actually at Great Tree this time, and there's only two spots he can be at Great Tree, which is here and over there, so I guess he's over there. No way, we actually got another chalice. My luck is insane right now. Okay, so in order to get the cake chalice, which you need to summon Doking, you need to have 10 cocoa powder or whatever it's called, I forgot. And uh, once you get the cake chalice, after you kill 500 enemies, you can summon the Doking. Okay, I got a ton of people to join the server, and they're gonna help me kill enough NPCs to spawn Doking. I'm currently trying to get Conjured Cocoa so that I can make the Cake Chalice. Okay, I finally have all the Conjured Cocoa, so I'm gonna go to the NPC over here and turn my God's Chalice into a Cake Chalice. I don't exactly know where he is, though. Where is this dude? Alright, there we go. Okay, I'm summoning him. He's so close to being dead. Come on, we have to get him now. He's in the wall. He's legitimately stuck in the wall. What is happening? Yes, let's go! And I got Spiky Trident. My luck today is crazy. I'm also gonna unlock Do Raids, so now I will be able to host Do Raids. Let me just go in here and use the red key. There we go. Cake Scientist. Yes. Okay, now that we have Hail Scarf, Spiky Trident, and a Mirror Fractal, I'm just gonna grind until some of my friends can get on, and then I can hunt for Mirage Island so that I can get Race V4. But first, I'm gonna roll a fruit. Okay, of course it's a bomb. I just unlocked the quest for the Kilo Lord. What is wrong with me? Why can't I say, like, any the Kilo Admiral? Dude, like, what is with me in calling the bosses, like, Blank Lord? Like, what is wrong with me? Anyway, uh, I'm gonna server hop for Kilo Admiral until I'm level 1775. Let's go. I can finally leave Great Tree and go to Turtle Island. And I think I can rule the fruit as well. Okay, let's see. Come on. Shadow! Oh my gosh! No way! I just rolled a Shadow Fruit! Oh my gosh! That's my first mythical. Back to grinding. Nice, okay. I can now kill the fishmen captains. This is so painful. This grinding is starting to get really repetitive, so I'm only gonna update you now once I get to a whole new island or something. Before I get back to grinding, actually, I'm gonna get the rainbow aura color because it looks cool. I somehow- I tried to flash step up here and somehow flash stepped into the roof? How- Anyway, we need to talk to this horned man, and I just need to go kill a bunch of bosses. So the first boss I need to kill is Stone, so I'm gonna go to Port Town. Alright, that was pretty easy. I just killed Stone, dude! What is wrong with you? I'm joining a different server. Okay, hopefully he doesn't, like, glitch out this time. Okay, come on. Okay, nice. So now we have to go kill Island Empress. I have to be careful of the Doe user and the Angel V4 fighting here. Dang it, the Island Empress isn't here. I think I'm just- No! No! Oh, she spawned in right as I left. Gosh darn it. Okay. Why? That's so stupid. Okay, I guess I have to restart the quest. Oh wait, I don't have to restart the quest. I just have to do this part. It saves after you do one part. Okay, that's great. I just have to kill Island Empress. There we go. Next, we have to kill the Kilo Admiral. Okay. And now we have to defeat Captain Elephant. Oh, and there's a Kitsune user killing me. Man, I'm about to boot a click spam on this dude. Okay. Captain Elephant isn't here, so I'm gonna server hop. It's cool that you can just server hop if there isn't a boss here. I didn't know that. Captain Elephant does do a lot of damage, and he'll, like, grab you with his hooks. Like that. You know, I always forget that there's not gonna be a difficult boss. I'm using Buddha Fruit. Okay, and I think that's the last thing he needs me to do. Oh, never mind. One last thing, which is Beautiful Pirate. And Beautiful Pirate's actually pretty difficult. 
And when I say that, I actually mean that. It's not like, just like, your average boss. Oh. I guess I'm not getting the aura colors until I'm level 900,000 and 1,950. Dang, okay, well, back to grinding. Okay, it's a new day, and you know what? I am determined to hit max level today. Okay, my friend just joined the server, and we're gonna Mirage Hunt so that I can get Race V4. Oh, come on, we got Terror Shark. We're just gonna run away. Hopefully- There's two! Oh my god. I'm just getting comboed! Let me live! No! I'm so low. No! Welp, there's a Sea Beast. That's not exactly what we're looking for. Welp, our ship's alive! Okay, and our ship's dead. Hooray! Ever since they updated how the sea events work, it's been so much harder to get a Mirage Island. You know what, honestly? I might not even get V4 this video. It's gonna be so difficult with this new update. I say new, it came out like a year ago. It's gonna be so difficult with update 20. I wanna, you know, not take another entire month to release this video. So if this video gets 5,000 likes, I will do another video getting race V4. And if we're not getting race V4, then I think that's everything and I'm just gonna try and get to max level now. Hold on, I have an idea that will make grinding more fun for me. And it's probably not a good idea because it will take way longer to level up, but you know what? I'm gonna trade Love and Barrier for Gravity, which is my favorite fruit. Gravity is a mythical, but its value is very low compared to other mythicals because people just don't like it for some reason. Plus, if I ever want to switch back to Buddha to level up, I have a shadow fruit that I can trade for it. Because if you guys didn't know, Buddha has very high value for being one of the cheapest legendaries in the game. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna eat this gravity fruit. <laughs> You probably could have guessed that this is my favorite fruit based off of, like, my channel name. First, I actually need to use a stat refund so that I can put stats into fruit so I don't do, like, literally no damage. We'll redeem the stat reset code. And refund our stats. There we go. Now we should do way better damage. This will take a lot longer because, you know, gravity's, gravity's not exactly the best fruit in the game. But it's fun. I like it. One more NPC and we'll unlock the next move. Let's go. This is my favorite move on the fruit. It's just really cool. Okay. Look at that. Wait, did they buff that move? I don't remember it having that big of a range. Oh my gosh. Maybe my memory just sucks. I don't know. This random dude with shark V4 just jumped me and I'm gonna just use gravity on him. <laughs> like... No way. <laughs> I'm alive. I live. I live. I, I live. I live. Uh, no. Okay, I think it's been two hours, so we're gonna roll a fruit now. As you can see, we're level 1975, which means that we can go to Haunted Castle. And what I'm gonna do is, after I roll a fruit, I'm gonna get Rainbow Hockey. Because we couldn't actually do it until we were level 1950, but now we're level 1975, so we can do it. But first, let's roll a fruit. Okay, we got Falcon Fruit. So what we need to do is kill Beautiful Pirate, and Beautiful Pirate is actually a difficult boss, and I don't even have Buddha Fruit anymore. Okay, can someone tell me how Beautiful Pirate isn't here? Like, the server's been up for, like, three hours. I'm just gonna server hop until we find a server with Beautiful Pirate. Yes, we found him. And there's already someone killing him, so I can help them. I'm so close to dying, but so is Beautiful Pirate. Yes! Okay. I also got Canvander. And now we can use Rainbow Savior. Look at that. That looks so much better than having no aura color. Okay, I'm gonna go to Haunted Castle now and continue grinding. And you'll never believe how lucky I am. Buddha's in stock. I have all of the moves on gravity, so I have no reason to continue using gravity. Yes! My gosh, the timing for Buddha to be in stock. We'll use the stat reset code. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna do something a little different this time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put max stats into defense, max stats into sword, and 827 into melee. So I'm gonna be a sword main. Because I have so many swords that I don't have any mastery on, so I might as well get mastery on them. And now I'm gonna go to Haunted Castle and start grinding. One hour later. I am level 2075, which means that I can finally go to the Sea of Treats. I'm getting so close to max level, look at this. Okay, I've been grinding for so long. These are the final two NPCs, and I can finally go to Tiki Outpost! Yes! Finally, one last kill, and I will be max level. Yes! Finally! That took so long. Okay, this is some bonus content for the people who have already seen all three parts, or just people who watched till the end. And Kitsune was in stock, so I bought Kitsune. 
and I've never used Kitsune, so I'm gonna get it to 300 mastery so I can unlock the transformation. Oh my god, there's custom dash animations. That's so cool. This is definitely one of the coolest fruits in the game. Okay, so Kitsune actually has M1s, and they're pretty good. Oh my gosh, I just launched that guy. Oh my gosh, and he's burning? Wait, that's crazy. What does this move do? Oh, cool. It, like, attaches, like, little things to him. And they, like, float around and, like, attack him at some point. That's cool. I guess the name makes sense. What does Tales of Burning Agony do? Oh my gosh. Okay, this one I actually do know what it does. It's basically, um, Tailed Beast Bomb from Naruto. Definitely the coolest move on the fruit, in my opinion. What the heck is this goofy R run? And this walk. 200 mastery. Okay, let's see what this move does. So, if you don't hit an enemy... Oh, uh, what even happened? Oh, okay. So, what happens if we hit an enemy? Okay, not terrible. What the hell? What is happening? Where are they going? <laughs> Oh, uh, I I think I broke Blocks Roots. Oh, yep, Blocks Roots. Oh, it's back. That was weird. Let's go 300 Mastery. Okay, let's do a full move showcase. So, a Cursed Enchantment. Tales of Burning Agony. Foxfire Disruption. Wild Assault. And now the Transformation. Accursed Enchantment. Tales of Burning Agony. Foxfire Disruption. And Wild Assault. And also, if you have friends, which um, I don't, they can ride on the back of you. So that's pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing. Although I probably said that at the end of every single part, so yeah. See ya.